I'm on the driver's side. Uh oh, what are we gonna do? This is our neighborhood here. Oh, there's a car coming, Dad. Hold on. Is that Ramakata? No, yeah. You. You okay, he's telling us to go. No, it's not Ramakata. It's somebody else. There's somebody else flashing their lights at us. get our kids over here. Oh, here's our fan club. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, hello, hey, hello, hey. hello. So bumpy, I don't know if you're gonna see anything. Do me long, Bana. Hello, hello, hello. Watch the car behind us, don't hit him. Okay. He's just showing us. 
doing, huh? I'll let him go by. <laughs> Plush Tavern. Or is it Plush? I don't know. Down there, this is Hamabote. And that way is the way to TY and the Rebay. What's the full name for TY, Mom? Chechenang. Chechenang. Okay, hold on. Here we okay, go. Okay, here we go. On the wrong side of the road, folks. Whoa, does this make you nervous or what?
soccer pit. That wasn't there, there used to be a soccer field there, or a soccer pitch, football pitch, as they would say here. There's some junk cars over there, scrap yard. So this is the road that cuts between the road to TY and the road to Roma. It's just a little to shortcut. Lower to, to my. Lower to my. There's a new house going up. There's a cow. Somebody's front yard. There's a nice little mountain up there. Here's the Pearl Hair Salon. Dad, I'm not looking at it, okay? So just <laughs> ignore that. You didn't see what he was talking about. So. And there's another cow. This road's not too level here, so you're probably getting some nice vibration. Hard in the eyes. Here comes a speed bump. And there's a school up on that hill over there that we just saw. And then this is the Garden Valley. Don't ask me what that is. I think it's a scrap yard. Get some of these entities and they're like it, sir. There's some little Ron having a soccer game over there. Right? Just drive, Dad. Just drive. You're missing. It. These are the great speed bumps here. Wait until you see this. You're gonna love it. Okay, and this is what we call a roundabout. Instead of having a traffic light, they have a roundabout. And you have to wait for the cars to the right of you to clear before you can go. <laughs> they're yelling something at us and I don't know what they're saying. Probably wanted to be on the video. Okay, and then this is going up the hill towards Macero. Mark West School, the ABC School of Tomorrow, ACE School, there's some boys waving at us, is right up the hill and around the corner right here. And we're just hoping he's going to be home, but he might not be, so. He's probably shopping like everybody else. Yeah. The stores close at 1 o'clock today. On Saturdays, everything closes at 1 o'clock. I don't know why, but they do. Oh, he's home. I see his little white beetle up there. So we're going to take a left here. Get the sign here. And this is the Assemblies of God Bible College, School of Tomorrow, ACE. Except we're not taking the time to take video. Yeah, there will be no kids here today because today is Saturday, of course. And we're pulling in here, and there's Mark's little white beetle that we've had the engine out of. Okay, so I'm going to turn it off now. Okay, here we are at the ACE School of Tomorrow. This is the first ACE school that was started here. Uh, How are you? Are you working hard? <laughs> I'm fine. And this is Mark West. How are you? It's too dark in here and you won't get No, I can see him fine. Okay, I've got paces outside for you. And uh, lots of things now. Yeah. Why does this to me all the time? Oh, poor her. She has to care. You were here today. I have your paces. Do you have room to take me home today or do you want me to come Monday? Shall I come and visit you on Monday? Okay. <laughs> and you have quite a bit of money left over here. About 700 grand. Hey. I bought 
<laughs> could have had a nice dinner, May. We had 700 rand. We could have had a nice dinner. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll come and see you on Monday, then, okay? And I'll, I'll bring the patient. She is. A, is she the principal of the school, Mom? The pastor's wife. The pastor's wife <laughs> and principal at the Bay. Okay, here we are leaving ABC School tomorrow. Each. Okay, this is going yeah. towards Nasera. And there is a school on the left here. And then coming up on the left is the main bus stop. This is where everybody comes into Nasera from other towns around Basutu. in the Siri the church and there is the Catholic Church So at least he's not the first priority for the quarterback. Or zero, number 84. I said, was that something right on? And he looked me right in the eye and said, who? <laughs> and he was serious. So I'm sure he was. Knocked down at the line of scrimmage. Eight minutes passed by Darrell Talley. And I'll tell you why he was serious. He has one television station in his cabin there in the middle of the Nebraska Plains. Does uh, another check. And he didn't watch TV. I think that'll fix that. Uh, Darrell Talley, hands up. Uh, we haven't heard much from Drew Smith. Uh, that's one of the first times we've real seen pressure here in the second quarter on Troy Aikman by this Buffalo defense. Hands up, 2-and-A in command. He is doing the blocking here again, moving Bruce Smith all over the defensive line. Up and down, Asa. Smith. Yeah. Four. Cut it. 20-yard line. At the two-minute timeout, and Miss Smith delivers his biggest run, 38 yards. Danny Johnson, he said, don't tell me any jokes. I don't like jokes. Tell me real stories, <laughs> then I'll see if I'll laugh. He does like the unrefilled by the way. Picked by Elliott, too deep to return again by Clifford Hicks. And here comes Wright. Well, he's a man who has shown not only in the NFL, but in college that he can come from way back. He's the silky Sullivan, Sullivan of football. Of those of you way back remember that great come from behind thoroughbred at Maryland. He produced the greatest comeback in collegiate history against the University of Miami. And in these playoffs against Houston, down 35 to 3 in the third quarter. Riley just came to win in Buffalo. 136 left in the half. Another fumble. On the handoff, and that Kenneth Davis able to recover it with Tony Casillas all about him. I think with the uh, sun setting here in Southern California, now this trip is getting a little slicker. Kenneth Davis trying to take the uh, handoff there. We'll see him lose his footing, and he, and he doesn't really clearly get the football. Tony Casillas, 75, almost gets it away from him. Right over the middle to Reed. That's the one combination that's worked today. Kelly or right to Andre Reed. Darren Woodson made the tackle, and for Reed, 123 yards in reception in this first half. That's the lone bright spot statistically for Buffalo. Second picking away. This is third and one. And with a snap, there has to be a penalty flag. There is no play. Haley was the man. 94 jumping offside was he drawn. Stops the clock with 36 seconds left in the half. They called uh, Jim Kelly for a head bob early in that in the game, and uh, it was against Buffalo too. Hands up over the same way. On the school teacher in St. Louis, hands up. Outside, defense number 94, five-yard penalty, first down. We'll take it out to the 34-yard line. He's running a little hit surface, and uh, you can see a 75 on the inside also drawn off. Haley uh, took the little detour left, but he was uh, committed too much in the contact. The Bills have all three of their timeouts left in this half. That's right going deep for BB. Intercepted by Larry Brown. The fifth turnover. He's been proud to grow up in Los Angeles. Went to junior college a couple of years here before migrating to Texas where he played for TCU. Takes it away from BB. This is excellent coverage. BB with 
great speed, but Brown realizes what's going on. The contact is allowed. And he's there to make the pick. And, oh, is this a recurring theme for the Buffalo Bills in the Super Bowl? Give it away. Give it away. Give it away again. Or take it away if you're a Dallas fan. Well done by Larry Brown. They have two timeouts left. The Cowboys, 30 seconds remain. Ball at their 28-yard line. And you lead 28 to 10. And it's left up the middle. To the 34-yard line. Bennett and Captain. It's not against Jimmy Johnson's nature to try to get one more. He's, there. He's never comfortable. Follows the timeout and talking with Johnson several times this past week. It's interesting, he wears, as you can see on his hand, his championship ring from his college days. That was 1987, University of Miami. But he says that only is the reason he wears it is he is so unhappy about the 86 team. He said it was a better team beaten by Penn State for the national championship. And he said, I'll take that off if I win the Super Bowl. Yeah, and in that game, the Miami Hurricanes had seven turnovers. 